can someone please explain to me what the hell Guy Fieri ever did to anyone? <laughs> Y'all know who I'm talking about, the celebrity chef? People shit on that dude all the time. <laughs> and as far as I can tell, all he ever did was follow his dreams. <laughs> Do you understand? People are horrible to a television personality and he didn't do anything wrong. Here's what he did do, America. He started a company where he hires everybody. He pays more than minimum wage. He gives health benefits before he has to. He has a nonprofit where he gives pretzel making machines to schools so they can fundraise. I know that one sounds like I made it up, but I swear to Christ, it's true. <laughs> He works with Special Olympics athletes, and if you need a little more sugar with this medicine, he also officiated a gay wedding. Yeah. But because he has flames on his shirt, everybody shits all over this dude like he's a member of Nickelback. And by the way, what the hell did Nickelback ever do? What? They made 40 million bros happy. Yeah, you don't want them walking around pissed off. That's how we ended up in this mess. <laughs> that should bother all of you. And look, I get it. I don't want to hang out with Guy Fieri either, okay? I know he looks like a hot topic manager moonlighting out of Fridays. <laughs> but he didn't do anything wrong. Well, what else has he done, Shane? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> he goes around the country to small businesses and gives them free advertising on a national platform on a weekly basis. Advertising those small businesses could never afford themselves with his own television show. But because his hair looks like he was electrocuted while drinking Mountain Dew, <laughs> people act like we need to saw his head off and put it on the internet. <laughs> Meanwhile, Y'all can't get enough of Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> and he seems like the kind of dude that would be mean to dogs. So I <laughs> don't understand what is happening. <laughs> what does he do? So I put on Rolling Stones t-shirts and I tell food courts they suck. Come on, man. <laughs> like if you had to choose between being stuck in a foxhole with Anthony Bourdain or Guy Fieri, you're going to pick Fieri every time. <laughs> I am still doing this bit. Uh, <laughs> 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 What's Bourdain going to do? I'll tell you. It'll be like that dude in every World War II movie who sucks the whole time. <laughs> then when the Nazis show up, doesn't do his job, gets a bunch of good soldiers killed. Meanwhile, Guy Fieri's over here earning new nicknames like El Fuego. <laughs> Picking up live grenades, throwing them back, saying dope shit like Welcome to Flavortown. <laughs> and he knows he's dying on that beach in France that morning, but he's there fighting. And what do y'all do? You shit all over him just because he had his sunglasses on the back of his neck. <laughs> I think it's awesome that he has a racing stripe painted on his fridge. <laughs> Love it if Banksy had painted it. <laughs> and look, guys, I know I look like the kind of dude that would defend Guy Fieri. <laughs> but if that's what you're taking away from this, you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I'm Shane Torres. We really appreciate it.